Hi students, welcome back. This is the part 2 of file operations. In this video lecture, we will discuss different functions used for random access to a file. At first, we will see what is the difference between sequential files and random access files. Depending upon the method of accessing the data stored, there are two types of files. They are sequential access file and random access file. At first, we will see the sequential file. In this type of files, the data is kept in sequential order. If we want to read the last record of the file, we need to read all records before that record. So, it takes more time. That means accessing a sequential file will take large amount of time. The next one is random access file. In this type of files, data can be read and modified randomly. If we want to read the last record, we can read it directly. It takes less time when compared to sequential file. So this is the difference between sequential file access and random file access. Next, we will discuss different types of functions used for random access to files. In that first one is FTEL function. This function returns the value of the current pointer position in the file. The value is count from the beginning of the file. So consider the syntax of FTEL function that is n equal to FTEL inside the bracket we will put FPTR then we will put a semicolon. Here n would give the relative offset in bytes of the current position. This means that n bytes have already been read or written. Then we will have the FTEL function. Then after that inside the bracket we will have FPTR. On the place of this FPTR we will place our name of the file pointer. Then for understanding more about the syntax consider the example that is n equal to FTEL. Inside the bracket we will have FP then we will put a semicolon. Here fp is the name of the file pointer, then ftl is the function and n is a variable. Inside this, inside this variable, we will store the integer value. When executing this particular code, actually what value, a number will be, an integer number will be stored inside this variable n. That number will tell this, this much number of bytes already been read or written. The next function is rewind function. So what is the use of this rewind function is this function is used to move the file pointer to the beginning of the given file. The syntax of the rewind function is rewind inside, a bra inside the bracket we will put FPTR. Then we will put the semicolon. So what this, uh, at first we will have rewind. We will write rewind function. So what is the use of rewind function is to move the file pointer to the beginning of the given file. Then after that we will have FPTR. On the place of FPTR we will put the name of the file pointer. Next is FC function. This function is used for seeking the pointer position in the file at specified byte. So with the help of this fseek function, we can set the pointer position as we decide. Then next is the syntax of fseek function. That is fseek inside the bracket. At first we will put fptr, then put a comma, then we will have displacement. Then put another comma, then pointer position, then at last we put the semicolon. In this, here FPTR, on the place of this FPTR, we will put the name of the file pointer. Then after that we will have displacement. 
the, the significance of displacement is, the first point is, it is a positive or a negative number. The next one is, this is the number of bytes which are skipped backward if negative or forward if positive from the current position. Then the third point is, this is attached with L because this is a long integer. Then next field is pointer position. The, spe the spe speciality of pointer position is this sets the pointer position in the file. Actually on the place of pointer position, we will put some integer values. So for getting an idea about that integer value, we have to uh, look at this table. This table contains two columns. The heading of the first column is value and heading of the second column is pointer position. If uh, the first value is zero, if we put a zero value on the pointer position, then the pointer position will be at beginning of the file. Then if we put one, that is on the pointer position, if we put one means the pointer position will be at current position. Then if we put two on the pointer position, then the pointer position will be at end of file. Then next is, for understanding more about the syntax of FC function, we will consider some examples. So the first example is, FC inside the bracket will have P, 10L, 0. In this, here P is the name of the file pointer. Then, on the place of displacement field, here we will put 10L. Then, on the place of pointer position, we will put 0. So, at first we will see what is the significance of this 0. 0 means the pointer position is on beginning of the file. So, now our point position will be at beginning of the file. Then, from this statement, the pointer position is skipped 10 bytes from the beginning of the file. So, due to the effect of that displacement 10L, the pointer position is skipped 10 bytes from the beginning of the file. Then, consider another example, that is example number 2, that is F6 inside the bracket will have P, 5L, 1. Here P is the name of the file pointer, then the pointer position is 1. Then 1 means the pointer position is on current position. Then, then the significance of 5, 5L is, from the statement, the pointer position is skipped 5 bytes forward from the current position. Why here forward is, here the, uh, the sign of this 5L, that is displacement, is positive. Due to that, here the forward action takes place. Then the third ex the example is, F6, inside the bracket we will have P, comma, minus 5L, comma, 2. Here P is the name of the file pointer, then 2, 2 on the position of pointer position we will put 2. So due to that 2, 2 means the pointer position is on end of the file. Then the effect of minus 5L is from the statement the pointer position is skipped 5 bytes backward from the end position. So due to the effect of this minus, this backward action takes place here. Next, we will see a program. Through this program, you will get an idea about how the FC function will work inside a file program. Actually, what happens inside this program is, we already create a file. Its name is JOS. Then the, we will store we will uh, store some data inside the file. Here, the data we return inside the file is EST102 programming in C. This particular data is written four times here. Then, with the help of fseek function, we will set the pointer position as we decide. Actually, that operation is happens inside this program. Let's go to the program. At first, we will write the header file that is hash include stdio.h. Inside this header file, all the file functions will be present. Then after that, we will have void main section. Inside the main section, at first, we will declare the file that is file star fp. 
Then here we will use two variables. One will be CH and another one will be N. So cat CH is the declaration of the CH variable and in and int N is the declaration of the N variable. Then after that we will call the F open function for opening our already created JOS file. And here the mode is read mode. Then after that we will call the printf section. Then the data, the statement we return inside the print of us enter the value of n to read last n characters. So that statement will be print on the console. When we see that statement, we will put a value here. So the value we put here is 10. So with the help of scanf function, that 10 value will be stored inside the variable n. Then next we will call the fseek function. The fseek function is fseek inside the bracket we will put fp comma minus n comma 2 then we will put a semicolon. I am already discussed you the syntax of fseek function that is fseek inside the bracket we will have fptr then displacement then pointer position. Then on the place of fptr here we, here we will put fp, fp is the name of the file pointer. Then on the place of displacement here we are putting minus n, the value stored inside n is 10 so the displacement value is minus 10 here. Then on the place of pointer position, we I am already told you the pointer position will carry some value here the, on the place of pointer position we will have 2. So with the help, with, uh, due to this 2, the pointer position will be present at the end of, end of the file. Then due to the effect of this displacement, what happens, what happens is here the pointer position will move backwards and it will skip 10 bytes of data. So now our pointer position will be present in between A and M. Then after the, so the, this effect will happen. Uh, when we write this fseek function. Then after that with the help of this while loop and the, this printf. Inside the body of the while loop we will have a printf. Then with the help of this while loop and the print, printf section the, and the data that means after the pointer position the data that is mming in C that data will be print on the console. Then we will again call another fseek function. So for that at first we will, call, we will uh, write this code that is printf and the value of n to read after n characters. So that will be print on the console then we will put the value here again we will put the value 10. So scanf will store that 10 value inside the variable n. Then we will call the fseek function. So fseek inside the bracket will have fp comma n comma 0. Here on the place of pointer position we have the value that is 0. So that means now our pointer position will be set at the beginning of the file. Then here the displacement is a positive value. The value present inside n is 10. So the displacement is 10. So what happens to, uh, here due to the effect of fseek function is the pointer position will be moved forward and that will skip 10 bytes of data. That means now our pointer position will be present in between O and G. The pointer position will be here. So with the help of this while loop and inside the body of the while loop we will have a printf with the help of these two sections. This the, the, after the pointer position data will be print on the console. Then we will close the file with the help of fclose function. Next we will see a program to copy the content of one file to another file. Actually, what happens inside this program is uh, here uh, we will already created a file that is JOS file. The, uh, inside that uh, JOS file, we will have a data that is EST102 programming in C. Then this data is written four times here. Then this data is read. This uh, The data present in the JOS file will read and that data will be copied into another file. The name of that file is span. So uh, the data from the JOS file is read and that data will be write on the pan file. So that happens inside this program. So let's go to the program. At first we will write the header file. Then after that we will have word main section. Then inside that we will have the file declaration. Here we have to, to declare two files. One will be the JAWS file and one will be the PAN file. So uh, 
consider this file declaration that is file star fp1 comma star fp2. Here fp1 is the file pointer of the juice file and fp2 is the file pointer of the pan file. Then after that, uh, here we will use a variable, its name is ch. So, cap ch is the variable declaration of ch variable. Then next we have to open these two files. So, at first we will open the JOS file. So, its corresponding statement is fp1 is equal to fopen inside the bracket, inside the double quotes, jos.txt, comma. Then here the mode is uh, read mode. So, here the JOS file is open in read mode. Then next we will have and we have to open the pan file. Its corresponding statement is fp2 is equal to fopen inside the bracket. Uh, we will have the name of the file that is pan.txt. Then we will uh, mention the uh, mode. Here the mode is write mode. Then here fp2 is the name of the file pointer. So fp2 is the pointer of file pointer of pan file and fp1 is the file pointer of JOS file. Here the JOS file is open in read mode and the pan file is open in the write mode. Then after that we will have we have to our aim of this program is we have to read the data presented in the JOS file and that data uh, is written in the pan file. So for that purpose we will call a while loop. So the condition we return inside the while loop is csck to get c. Then inside the bracket we will have fp1 and that is not sql to end of file. Why we are put fp1 here is then this fp1 is the file pointer of the jos file. From the jos file we have to we need to read the data. Due to that reason, inside the getc function, we put fp1. We already familiar with getc function. With the help of getc function, we can read a character from a file. So, with the help of this getc function, that is, ch is equal to getc, inside the bracket, we will have fp1. With the help of this uh, particular uh, statement, what happens is, uh, a one by one character from the JOS file is read and that character will be stored in ch variable. Then after that inside the while loop we will have while body of the while loop we will have put c. Then the code of the put c will be like this. Put c inside the bracket we will have ch comma fp2. The put c we are already familiar with this put c. Put c is the function. Uh, with the help of that put c function, we can write a particular character into the uh, file. So here ch is the variable and fp2 is the file pointer of pan file. Then with the help of getc function, already a particular character is read from the jos file and that is stored in the ch variable. Then with the help of this put c function, then the, the character present in the ch variable will be copied into the pan variable and pan file not variable pan file and this process will repeat until the end of file of jos file reached and after that operation all the data present in the jos file will be written in the fan, pan file then after that we will close the jos file and we will close the pan file now let's conclude the various functions used in file programming I am already told you there are two types of functions used in file. They are sequential access functions and random access functions. At first we will see the sequential access functions. In that first one fopen. The fopen function creates a new file or open an existing file. Then fclose. The fclose function closes an open file. Then get w, the get w function reads an integer from the file. Then put w, the put w function writes an integer to the file. Then get c, the get c function reads character from the file. Then put c, the put c function writes a character to the file. Then fscanf, the fscanf function reads a set of data from the file. Then fprintf, fprintf function writes a set of data to the file. Then fwrite, the fwrite function writes an entire block of data to the file. 
then f read f read function reads an entire block of data from the file then fef that is the end of file the fef function finds the end of file so these are the sequential access functions then next we will see, next we will conclude the random access functions. In that first one, fseek, the fseek function moves file pointer position to a given location. Then ftel, the ftel function gives current position of the file pointer. Then rewind, the rewind function moves file pointer position to the beginning of the file. So, this is the end of this video lecture. Thank you all.